Hi everybody, Steph here and what we've got today is yet another gorgeous pen for you to look at. What we have here is a Schaefer Touchdown. This is the Sentinel Deluxe. Um, it's dated from the 1950s. Now, the colour of this particular pen is this lovely dark blue colour. And then if you look at the cap there, um, it's a metal cap. It's, it's actually a polished stainless steel cap with, if you look to the bottom there, it's got this quite a large gold filled band to the bottom of the cap. And then to the top there, it's got a gold filled um, Schaefer clip, which I believe is actually sprung as well. So let's give you another view like so. And then to the very top there, you can see it's got the very recognizable Schaefer white dot to the top. Now, if we show you the imprint to the back of the pen there. Okay, let's... Okay, so what it actually tells us there that it's a Schaefer and it's actually made in, in Canada. So this is actually the Canadian, Canadian version. All in all, absolutely beautiful pen. I've actually restored it. There's a new O-ring. I've put a new sack in it. Um, we've not yet tested it, so we'll do it in a moment. You can see to the bottom of the to the barrel there, it's got the recognisable uh, little gripping section, which we'll show you again in a moment. Let's show you the imprint of the pen. Let's find it first of all. The imprint on this particular pen, well, for me, it's actually slightly unusual. I've actually never seen it before. Um, what it actually says is W.A. Schaefer Pen Company and then in brackets it's got of Canada Limited closed brackets and then Moulton, Ontario and then underneath there it's got made in Canada. So first time I've seen it to be quite honest with you so a little bit unusual. Now the cap of this particular pen is a screw on so if we unscrew the the cap like so and as always let's give you a couple of little twirls of the pen in absolutely superb condition it's an absolutely lovely lovely pen if we go to the top of the barrel there you can see it's got this um, it's actually a, a slightly ridged or grippable um, section now this particular section although it's not very clear on the on the video it's what they term as a visualated section which um, well I assume it's so that you can actually see the the ink in the pen as I say a little bit difficult to show you on the video because of my lighting but believe me this is slightly um, you can actually see through this particular section to the very top of the um, the pen there, you can see it's got this triumph nib, this wrap round nib like so. And it's what they term as a two-toned two -toned nib, which is actually 14 karat gold, 585. Again, it actually says uh, made in Canada on it. And to the top of the nib there, you can see, as I said, it's a two-toned nib. It's got this, what they term as this platinum mask to the top which uh, looks slightly well yeah it looks silver so a two-tone triumph nib if we give you a sideways view there you can see lovely nib and again if we turn it over you can see you can see the feed underneath there the very uh, recognizable shape of feed again it's all been nicely cleaned and incidentally I don't know if you can actually see let's keep it nice and still for you I'm hoping you can see this particular nib is actually a broad nib which we'll try out for you in a moment so as I said this particular one is what they term as a touchdown it's not it's not a snorkel we'll show you it in a minute these particular pens came in numerous different configurations with plastic caps etc different colors I won't go into them all um, I'll just simply stick with this particular one being the uh, the touchdown Sentinel deluxe version as I say with this um, with this metal brushed or polished stainless steel cap very very attractive now to fill the, uh, the pen what we simply do is we unscrew the the knob to the very end 
of the barrel like so and we simply pull out the filler tube like so now at this particular point what we'll do let's bring on some ink um, as I say I fully serviced it with it with all new seals and a new sacks first time I've ever uh, tested it so what we'll do we'll keep our fingers crossed so what we need to do is dip the dip the nib into the ink and then with one swift motion push down on the on the knob at the top so let's do that okay I don't think you would have actually seen it there's some bubbling bubbling going on in the uh, in the ink to the bottom so let's pop that to one side let's turn the knob back in and let's bring on some some paper to test the test the pen so as I said what we have here is a lovely it's a Schaefer um, as I say this particular one is what they term as a touchdown fountain pen we date the pen from the 1950s it's writing very smoothly a lovely writer very very nice and as you can see we're getting quite a broad line so as we as we thought earlier this particular nib is a broad nib and writing very very nicely very very smooth I'm very impressed to be quite honest with you <laughs> Okay, so we've got a lovely pen that's writing with a broad, with a broad, and a lovely wet line as well. Very nice. So there we have it, the Schaefer Touchdown Sentinel Deluxe, made in Canada, in lovely condition, with this screw-on cap, like so, in absolutely stunning condition, fully serviced, absolutely beauty. So there you have it, a Schaefer Touchdown Sentinel Deluxe. As always, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Don't forget, loads more videos. Go and have a look, leave a comment. But for now, I'll just say bye bye now.